This, if you're a fan like me, you'll agree that the Dustbin Man is among the best sitcoms ever. So do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. John Woodvine played the character Bloody Delilah in the sitcom when he was 40 years old in 1969. See, at the age of 94, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in South Shields, England. Theory of it, right? In practice, it's to ignore the public and keep those self-same fiddles going forever, correct? And that's why cheese and egg seeks election, correct? He's always elected. Devil worship, cried Nicky. I didn't know there was such a thing. Summer said that when he was in Bombay, some fakir told him wonderful things were done in the heart of the Himalayas by devil. Stephanie Turner played the character Bryce Maid in the sitcom when she was 25 in 1969. See, at the age of 79, she is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Bradford, UK. I don't want it. I don't want it. She's always sending her old clutter around here. We've got a carpet. Well, now you've got... ...pride in keeping up a high standard of appearance. So important. <laughs> it was Miss Marriott that mentioned it to me. This will tickle you, Miss Armitage, she said. The young... Trevor Bannister played the character Heavy Breathing in a sitcom when he was 35 in 1969. Sadly, on April 14, 2011, he left us from a heart attack at 76 in Thames Dean, Surrey, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. The lousy pigs. <laughs> The lousy rotten pigs! Your friends and colleagues? The ignorant slobs! You've just given them a gold pigging star! And his, he has a wonderful facility for casting the right people. Absolutely. And, yeah. and getting his casting right. And I guess I'm therefore saying we were the John Cummer played the character First Policeman in the sitcom when he was 46 in 1970. Sadly, on February 11, 1984, he left us with a nasal pharyngeal cancer at the age of 59 in Blackpool, Lancashire, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Some dumplings. Nobody's complained, have they? Mr. Eli Pledge. <laughs> Who's asking? Are you or are you not Mr. Eli Pledge of Pledge's Pickles? If you put it like that, yeah. <laughs> this is a place all the and who's going to start? Start what? Uh, <coughs> uh, wiping the feet. I keep on to him about wiping the feet. He's lying. I know he's lying. Brian Wilde played the character Bloody Delilah in the sitcom when he was 43 in 1970. Sadly, on March 20th, 2008, he left us due to natural causes at 80 years old in Ware, Hertfordshire, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. May I take it so that the... The labor exchange has lost a prospective client. <laughs> it's of course natural science. I'm, uh, I'm sure it's all right. Well, if you're certain. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty certain. Yeah. Paula Wilcox played the character Naomi in a sitcom when she was 20 years old in 1969. See, at the age of 74, she is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Manchester, England. Bobby Moore was playing a bit squared at first, but he was only trying to level up with his fullbacks. Got something wrong, he's picked up from watching City. Winston, your mum and dad have gone to bed, we've still got half an hour. And that maybe she will be able to open doors for Yasmin um, by encouraging her to, you know, read the books on coercive. Brian Pringle played the character Cheese and Egg in the sitcom when he was 34 in 1969. Sadly, on May 15, 2002, he left us due to illness at 67 in London, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Pillar box, but I bloody try. Have you ever heard of Regulation 43? Breach of which means instantaneous amputation of all appendages without... ...problem. There's a Seiko lens. They use it on the Olympus OM-1, one of the best cameras in the world. Well, I suppose they're all right for you boys, but you wouldn't get a professional using one. Do you know who that is? Jen Holden played the character Mrs. Green Gables in the sitcom when she was 38 in 1969. Sadly, on October 11, 2005, she left us due to brain tumor at 74 in London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. One like a Pekingese puppy with a sexy ears. Would you tell him that maybe he'd like to pop in for a nice cup of tea? No monkey business, but just a nice cup of tea. Ron O'Rat played the character Alderman Wentworth in a sitcom when he was 41 in 1970. 
Sadly, on April 23, 1976, he left us due to brain hemorrhage at 47 in Toronto, Canada, where deeply saddened by his passing. I am. Um, the computer says we only suffered superficial damage. So do we get a free issue of surgical trusses? No. We assume that the tires only are destroyed. Tim Wilton played the character Eric in the sitcom when he was 29 in 1969. See, at the age of 83, he is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Bangor, D. UK. Now this time you've really excelled yourselves. Oh, that's very kind of you to say so. <laughs> Shall we say that it's just as easy to work with a... Mary Ignat played the character Mrs. Ipperson in the sitcom when she was 53 in 1969. Sadly, on July 6, 1980, she left us due to illness at 64 in Chichester, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. A nice cup of tea. Lawrence! Brought it in, John. It is. It's my Lawrence. Come back. Only we know teeth. Do you know him? John Barrett played the character Smiley Ibbotson in the sitcom when he was 59 in 1969. Sadly, on May 22nd, 1983, he left us due to natural causes at 73 in London, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Kelly, and I'll blow it up for you, myself, personally, with my own breath. Don't bother. If I'm to do a week's pig in penance, I might as well keep on the rotten spikes. <laughs> Mona Washburn played the character Mrs. Collingforth in the sitcom when she was 67 in 1970. Sadly, on November 15, 1988, she left us of natural causes at 84 in London, England. We're deeply saddened by passing. Good idea. Unfortunately, there's the problem of a donor. You don't often read of a goldfish being knocked down on a zebra crossing by. Okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in the Dustbin Men? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe to know more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.